Hello, Mr. D here with another awesome tutorial. This on Serenade for Strings uh, by Tchaikovsky, arrangement by Del Borgo. This is the viola part. Okay, so we begin uh, here. Okay, let me adjust so we can see my hand. Okay. So you have the C. Now, I would probably play Divisi, however, if you can play both notes and they're in tune, I'm fine with it. And then... Now, here for the 16 notes, I would actually go in um, third position. So, if you're able to do it, please do. If you are um, not so secure in third position, you can still play it in first position. Okay, so if you play it in third position, it's going to look like this. And then you go back for the uh, first position. And if you play it in first position, it's going to sound like this. So, uh, do whatever feels more comfortable, whatever sounds better, okay? So, um, I don't want to say play it in third position if uh, it's going to sound uh, not as clean as it would be in the first position. So, anyway, here it is again. <laughs> There is nothing much for the rest of the part until the allegro. Um, a very energetic eight note with an accent. Okay, now we begin uh, the allegro. I'm going to do parts of it and then I'm going to do it slowly and then medium and fast if, um, if it is a good um, part. Now I'm going to do it slowly. I would do fourth finger. I wouldn't play open string to. Okay, so fourth finger is better. Now here is the tricky part. So you gotta get the C sharp and the C natural. The other tricky part, the one with the moving first finger. So you got to get the G sharp. Now I'm going to do that part a little bit faster. now and now comes the other part uh, this is 32 As I mentioned, if you get stuck in first position, then you would have to jump a string to play this. Which is okay, uh, however, if everybody does it, then it's going to sound with a little gap. Because that's what happens when you jump over a string. So right here, the previous measure, I suggest that you use the open string D. And then now you're in third position. 
using that open string and now you can just to get and now you can use the open string to move back to first position faster from 32 okay so there is uh, also that spot where we uh, have to play um, the third line from the bottom So for that jump, probably the best thing to do is to play the C sharp with low four. And then you have the third finger ready to go. Otherwise it's too much motion um, to, to get those uh, notes. Okay, so low four. Okay. And now uh, the part before 48, there isn't too much going on here. And then the pizzicatos. Make sure that this is G sharp. Low two, high two. Okay, and then. Okay, there isn't too much going on there. I'm going to start now the second line of the second page. Um, Okay, so now we have to play D sharp, D natural, C sharp, so. Luckily after that we have open strings. Same thing before 68. Okay, now 68 is the part that you probably have to practice. Notice low two, high two. Okay, now I am going to do it a little bit faster from before sixty eight. Seventy-six. So low, high, low one, and now we are at eighty-four. It's just a scale, uh, a little bit faster. And if you do open string like I just did, you notice that you have to change strings quite a bit. So I recommend the fourth finger. Again. And then we come back to the part that is almost like the beginning, except that at the end, low one for the A flat. Okay, and if you want to play uh, this. get a little bit more sound because it's the C string. And 
and then you can go to first position because that's going to sound best with the open string for the ending okay enjoy happy practicing